can I get a little bit of context of uh, what this is and how it's going to be used and like what kind of lengths you're looking for here? No worries. This is going to be edited. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I've been uh, longer than I remember. I went to school for music originally, and then I got out of school and did programming for uh, like 10 years, and then I got back into it uh, around mm, 2003, 2004. My site's been around since, I think, 1996. Uh, you'll have to, you'll have to do the math on that. It wasn't always music. It was just, you know, it was the early internet, and I wanted a website. This is, by the way, a fantastic question because nobody understands this, and I've been trying to explain it to people, and it doesn't seem to work. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, like I I make music. The purpose of music is to affect people's emotions. So I want as many people as possible in the world to hear what I do. Distributing it for free, that's the best way to get it into the hands of the most people possible. The bigger question is, why doesn't everyone do this? You know, if you're a musician or a composer, you should want everyone in the world to hear you. You know, we're just now in a world where that's possible. People link to me. People love me, which is awesome. By the way, thank you everyone who links to me. Um, yeah, more links equals better ratings on Google, and I don't beg people to link to me, and I know there's other sites that do that. Everything's just been organic, and it just, it just works. In, uh, in November, I had over 890,000 songs downloaded. That's like, it's over three terabytes of transfer. Yeah, and it goes up every month. No, I've broken, uh, internet hosts. They're like, hey, we've got unlimited internet hosting i'm like oh no you don't no <laughs> i went i went through like seven different providers you know godaddy and bluehost and uh, like all these places and they're like unlimited whoa whoa we didn't mean unlimited that's not possible now it's somewhere in the 600s and i've got you know a bunch more which are in the staging area but i haven't posted them yet <laughs> i'm in like tens of thousands of user created videos um, you know, I've got an IMDB page if you want to look up things that you may or may not have seen at film festivals. Oh, Coke just picked me up for a radio ad. Uh, I get emails every day from people who tell me that, hey, I used your music in this project and that project, and uh, I, I do go and I look at everyone that people send to me. I do get donations. It's well enough to pay for, you know, the bandwidth and have enough left over for things like rent, in new hardware, all of that stuff. Like one tenth of one percent of people actually donate to me, which is which is fine. I don't push it really hard because I don't like to be nagged that way, so I don't like to nag other people. Well, I'm right now doing a musical that's going to be in New York called Black Peter, which is a sort of a holiday thing. I'm doing some music for a Vegas stage show. A lot of interesting theater stuff that most people will, will not see just because of the nature of theater. Currently, like Yoko Kano, this fantastic composer, Danny Elfman. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there at Danny Elfman. Man, Danny Elfman. <laughs> oh, we're done. Thank you very much.